It's now our privilege and our honor to pay tribute to the memory of our fellow firefighters who were lost on 9-11 by presenting an award that memorializes the name and the legacy of FDNY Deputy Chief Ray Downey, one of the greatest fire service leaders of our time. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would please observe the monitors. Penwell established the Fire Engineering Courage and Valor Foundation in 2002 to honor the spirit of the heroic 343 FDNY firefighters that perished on 9-11. Preserving the memory of the firefighters who made the ultimate sacrifice on September 11th and honoring firefighters for years to come, Penwell has set up an independent tax-free foundation with a goal of raising $1 million. Through generous donations, each year the income from the foundation is awarded to a firefighter or his or her family who has exhibited exemplary courage and valor in a rescue operation during the prior year. The first award was presented in 2002 to the widow and family of Deputy Chief Ray Downey, who lost his life while commanding rescue operations at the World Trade Center attack on 9-11. Deputy Chief Downey was Chief of Rescue Operations and a 39-year veteran of the Fire Department of New York. He was the most highly decorated firefighter in the history of the FDNY. In addition to his great courage as a firefighter, Deputy Chief Downey was nationally known for his pioneering efforts in the field of technical rescue and was the unofficial leader of FEMA's urban search and rescue teams, which he trained for disaster response throughout the United States and the world. Deputy Chief Downey commanded rescue operations at many difficult and complex disasters, including the Oklahoma City bombing, the 1993 World Trade Center bombing, and many natural disasters worldwide. For a lifetime of unparalleled service to firefighters and citizens alike, and in remembrance of the courage and valor exemplified throughout his life, the Courage and Valor Award presented to one extraordinarily courageous American firefighter each year, now bears the Downey name. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, we all have people who we look up to, and we all have people who we admire. And it is with tremendous humility and tremendous respect and tremendous admiration that I'd ask you to please join me in welcoming a man who for the last 11 years of my life has provided me with inspiration, has provided me with support, and who has helped lead the American Fire Service through his selfless efforts and his incredible generosity. Ladies and gentlemen, Chairman of the Board of Penwell Corporation and parent company of FDIC, Mr. Robert F. Biacchini. Who can match Bobby? That's the deal. He's, he's got it all, and we're, we are a lucky company to have him. He is devoted, and he, he, he excels goodness. And we need a lot more of that in this country right now, these, these elections. Uh, our choices are not very good <laughs> on any party. I'm not going to give a, a speech on that, but I, I've, we've, 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 we all are suffering because we don't have leadership. But we have it here at this show, and, and, and we go to the core with guys like Bobby, uh, underscoring what, what it's all about. We have to give more, we have to be more, and I think uh, uh, Penwell is trying to uh, encourage that. So I'm going to talk about a great man, and I knew the man, and I'll start with that. So um, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this morning, I am again honored to be here with you celebrating the life and legacy of Deputy Chief Ray Downey, 
by participating in the 89th Annual Fire Department Instructors Conference International. And I mentioned that international, it's growing quite consistently. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's great that we're doing that. On behalf of all of us at Penwell, welcome to FDIC International 2016. As the chairman of the board, I am very proud to be able to support and direct the most meaningful fire service training and educational event in the entire world. And I mean that entire world, there's no one that puts on a show like we have here in, with your support. And, and it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's really a pleasure. We have many other activities, but this is the heart and soul of Penwell. And, uh, it's, and, and the people that are here are the most important people that we, and, and, and honorable people that we deal with because we're all over the world. So we know what, um, the, the, how, how, good, how lucky we are that we have the kind of uh, principles here. This morning, I am once again deeply honored to participate in this uh, presentation of Ray B Downey Courage and Valor Award. Chief Ray Downey was an extraordinary man who I first met 19 years ago uh, at FDIC, an icon of duty, honor, and humility that, the, that, that epitomized throughout his life. This is the, this is the bread, those of, in my generation, we look to people of, of character and honor and, and, and integrity. He's the man that is, fills that, uh, and, and he, was, he had a great sense of humor. He, uh, he, he did all kinds of things, and I'll stop at that, but it was, it, he's just an entirely great guy. Uh, Ch Chief Downey was a true gentleman and an American patriot who served his country as a member of the United States Marine Corps before joining the Fire Department of New York. Chief Downey set a high bar as a citizen, uh, a, a, as a Marine, as a father, and as a husband and a son. He was never one to settle for mediocrity or the status quo. His goal was excellence in all he set out to do. Chief Ray Downey personified fire service courage, valor, until his death on September 11, 2001. And it's, and so it, 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 it's more than fitting that this award bears his name, recognizes his contributions. This morning, we gather to honor another true American hero, New Haven, Connecticut firefighter, Jason Rivera. Now, please join me in welcoming FDY uh, Battalion Chief Joe Downey and Chuck Downey, uh, Ray's sons, for the presentation of this 2016 Ray Downey Courage and Valor Award. And I'm going to say that without these two gentlemen working with us and Bobby, we of often have a difficulty see, making a, a, the number of people that are put before us, and they are really helpful. So. Let's give them a big hand as they come on stage. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. On behalf of the entire Downey family, 
thank you to continue to memorialize the legacy of our father with this tremendously important award. This year marks the 15th anniversary of that tragic day on 9-11, when we lost our dad, along with 342 of our brother FDNY firefighters. In their memories this morning, we recognize the actions of firefighter Jason Rivera, whose actions exemplify the very best in firefighters. But before we begin to tell Jason's story, we, we want to express our family's gratitude to the Courage and Valor Foundation. We would also like to thank the Penwell Fire Group advisors and staffers who are continuously on the lookout for particularly courageous acts to request nominations. The selection process has several components, each involving firefighters from across the country. We receive reports of unparalleled bravery and it is always an extremely difficult task to narrow it down to just one firefighter whose actions rose above all others. But in the final analysis again this year, there was one who stood above the rest. One candidate whom my brother Joe and I agreed remind us of his actions of our father, Chief Ray Downey. Today's awardee is special for us in many ways, for his story is often overlooked in rescue stories and awards where the rescue is celebrated for the grab, and deservedly so, but in many cases the grab could not have happened without the selfless acts of many others. This is one of those stories where the nozzle man made the rescue possible, but not without dire risk not without great personal danger, and not without sustaining significant injuries. This award would brighten our dad's face, for it simultaneously recognizes the courage and valor of an individual and the courage and valor of a department. Today, we celebrate the success of training, courage, teamwork, and the importance of everyone performing their function on the fire ground, supporting the mission of the team to its very best of their abilities, here is Jason Rivera's story. Just past midnight on March 1st, 2015 in New Haven, Connecticut. Engine six, engine nine, engine four, squad two, truck two, emergency unit two, and car 34 were dispatched to a reported structure fire on Dickerman Street. Firefighter Jason Rivera responded on engine six out of the Dixwell station and was assigned to the pipe position. The call was approximately 500 yards from Engine 6's quarters, which allowed for a quick response. Truck 4, which responds from the same station, was already out on an alarm and would be responding from a district away, delaying the first due truck significantly. This factor also delayed placement of the second due engine. On arrival, Engine 6 transmitted a 73 for a working fire in a two and a half story balloon frame wood dwelling with fire venting from the second floor windows and out the front right door. The fire burned down the stairs. One of the occupants had propped open the door with a shopping cart, creating a flow path. The stairs were on fire from top to bottom. Lieutenant Wadley of Engine 6 continued his size up and ordered a one and three quarter hand line to the second floor. At this time, a report of a victim trapped was relayed as Engine 6 began a rapid deployment and an aggressive attack. Since Truck 4 was delayed, engine companies were assigned the primary search. Firefighter Rivera began to control the stairs and made a push under high heat and zero visibility. On the way up the stairs to the second floor, they were met with heavy hoarding conditions and a well-involved structure fire. Engine 6 began attacking the fire and was making headway. At this time, the firefighter assigned to the hydrant radioed that the hydrant was frozen and an alternative water source was needed. Engine 9 quickly backed to Engine 6 and laid hose to a secondary water supply. During this time, the attack team was thinking about the life safety of the victim and knew that survival would be predicated on maximizing the 500-gallon tank on the engine while the relay was established. Firefighter Rivera continued to push in and extinguish heavy fire until his attack line became hung up at the coupling. Lieutenant Wadley asked Rivera to try to hold his position, 
while he attempted to correct the hose line issue. Having a hand tool and knowing that Engine 4's crew was attempting to gain access to the third floor stairs where the victim was thought to be, Firefighter Rivera, still alone in zero visibility with high heat pushing down on him, breached the wall from the living room to the kitchen. He alternated playing the line into the hole and in front of him into the heavily involved kitchen. He managed his tank water and held his position despite the fact that his body was being burned. His actions made the Charlie side of the structure more tenable for Engine 4 to perform the primary search. Engine 4 was able to make the stairs in the rear to the third floor and quickly locate an unresponsive male. They moved the victim to the rear yard where they had to negotiate a fence and deep snow. Because of the conditions, Captain Celentano had the squad and Engine 4 crew pick up the victim and place him over his shoulders. He delivered the victim to the waiting EMS crews. While Engine 4 moved the victim around the structure, Engine 6 completely ran out of water. Firefighter Rivera backed down to the bottom of the stairs. When water was re-established, he and his crew made an aggressive push on the second floor. After their self-contained breathing apparatus ran out of air, Firefighter Rivera reported out with Lieutenant Wadley. That's when Rivera realized he had unbearable pain. He removed his bunker pants and discovered that his knees and shins were shedding and blistering. He notified Lieutenant Wadley and was evaluated by EMS. He was transported to Yale New Haven Hospital and then transferred to the Bridgeport Yale Hospital burn unit. He had second degree burns on his waist and wrists and third degree burns on both of his legs that necessitated skin grafts and surgery. The fire conditions and the lack of water would have led many salty firefighters to knock down as much fire as possible and then back down until a positive water source was established. Firefighter Rivera operated in high heat while conserving water to ensure the rescue could be completed. The hoarding conditions prevented him from completely extinguishing the fire in the area in which he was kneeling. He continued to crawl, attempting to free the line. His breaching the wall demonstrated that despite the fact that his body was burned, he kept his composure and quickly evaluated the need for action. Firefighter Rivera has recovered from his burns and has since returned to work. Firefighter Rivera is the, has amplified the highest tradition of the fire service by maintaining his position despite sustaining significant burns, thereby award, affording his fellow firefighters the opportunity to effect the rescue of the trapped civilians. His courage, perseverance, selflessness effects are to be honored. Firefighter Rivera dedicated an, an aggressive action in support of his fellow firefighters, saving a civilian's life are in the highest in tradi in tra tradition of the New Haven a Connecticut Fire Department. Firefighter Jason Rivera has been a member of the New Haven Fire Department for almost two years. Previously, he was uh, a member of the Stamford uh, Fire uh, Rescue Department for 16 years and, and had risen to the position of captain. He was assistant chief of the Newton uh, Hook and Ladder Volunteer Fire Department, where he lives with his wife and sons. For this extraordinary courage and valor, Penwell and fire engineering are honored to be present to, to the firefighter Jason Rivera with the 216 Ray Downey Courage and Valor Medal, 
award and along with a $35,000 check for the Fire Engineering Courage and Valor Foundation, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you Firefighter Jason Rivera, the 2016 Ray Downey Courage and Valor recipient. Good morning. Being recognized by the Downey family, Chairman Robert Biacchini, Bobby Halton, Diane Rothschild, and the entire Courage and Valor Foundation humbles me. Their dedication and work exemplifies the traits of the man that this award is named after. The American Fire Service will never forget September 11th and the courage that was displayed that day. It's hard to feel deserving of an award named after such a pillar of our profession. And while I did not know the man as a young firefighter, I was influenced by his books and teachings. Words cannot express my gratitude for this honor. I'm not one who likes recognition or the spotlight. I just love going to work, being a part of the team, and doing the job. My recruit instructor, Captain Frank Ritchie, and Lieutenant Justin McCarthy stated that was one of the reasons they nominated me. No fires contained or rescue is made by one firefighter. It takes a team. However, in any team, one member can make a difference. While no firefighter's deeds will live up to the legacy of Chief Downey, we all have the ability to strive for that example. Everyone in this audience has a responsibility to mentor and train the next generation. I was fortunate from the age of 16 to have had incredible mentors along the way from great departments, both career and volunteer. Booton Township and Picatinny Arsenal Fire Departments in New Jersey, Stanford, Connecticut Fire Department, Newtown Hook and Ladder in Connecticut, and last but, not least, last but not least, the New Haven Fire Department. To the guys who came out to Indy to learn and support me, Lieutenant Brigham, Josh, John, Kevin, Captain Palmer, Captain Ward, Sean, Mike, your support, friendship, and brotherhood mean more than I could ever tell you. I would also like to recognize all the members of the New Haven Fire Department who operated at this fire at 67 Dickerman Street. If it was not for the courageous efforts of every member on scene, a successful rescue operation would not have been possible. And I'd like to especially single out Squad Company 1 and Engine Company 4 who made the rescue and removal of the unconscious victim. These guys did an amazing job locating and carrying an adult male victim out from a second floor apartment, down a flight of stairs, and through the backyard in about three feet of snow. It was a tough fire right from the get-go with many challenges that needed to be overcoming. Hoarding conditions in the house, and a heavy fire condition rapidly extending throughout. All the companies worked tirelessly together to accomplish their tasks and bring the situation under control. Everyone on scene that night should be recognized for their efforts. Lastly and most importantly, I especially need to thank my wife Christine for always being by my side through thick and thin. I'm not really sure why you're still with me after all these years, but I'm very lucky to have you. You have no idea how your support has always and will continue to give me strength. You were my rock when I was laid up with my injuries, somehow taking care of the kids, the house, and still finding time to visit me every day in the hospital. All the times I work long hours, miss holidays, come home exhausted, you step up and take care of whatever needs to be done. You truly are amazing, and I cannot tell you enough how lucky I am to have you. You're the glue that keeps our family strong. My two sons, Evan and Alexander, you guys make me smile every day and give me something to look forward to at the end of every shift. You make me proud to be your dad. As I'm sure that Chief Downey is proud of his sons that are carrying on his legacy. Finally, thank you to my mom and dad for teaching me from a young age to never give up and follow my dreams. 
The foundation you provided for me as a child still gives me support to this day. Please remember all the brothers and sisters that were lost over the last year in the fire service. Keep their friends, family, and coworkers in your prayers. Everyone train hard, have fun, and stay safe. Thank you.